Hello! I thought I would do a quick video today about energy and sleep. So feelings of low energy and feeling tired and not getting great sleep, not feeling rested when you wake up in the morning. These are things that a lot of people are feeling. So um, it's something that really affects us if we aren't feeling our best, if we don't have the energy we need to get through the day. It makes everything so much harder. So I wanted to share a quick little tip that may help you. So our bodies are reliant on cues coming in from our environment to let us know when we should be awake and having the most energy output and when we should be sleeping and resting and healing and recovering from our day. So these are really important processes. They happen separately to each other, right? In a general sense. And so our body needs cues to know when to do what. Now, one of the key cues that actually tells it which state to be in is light. Is the amount of light and the type of light. So when your body specifically your eyes are getting input of blue light so the type of light that you get during the day um, that tells your body to be awake and to be having maximum output in all of its functions um, the best way to sort of get yourself going in the morning is to get sunlight on your eyes as soon as you can so if that's when you wake up if that's on your drive to work, if that's um, if you start earlier in the day, maybe it's during your coffee break or your lunch break, that you can actually get outside and get sunlight on your eyes. Um, then at the end of the day, you need to let your body know to wind down. It's a gradual process that your body needs to go through in order to get into deep sleep. We shouldn't be on our devices, checking emails, doing stressful things until late at night and then turn the lights off and just expect to fall and have a really nice restful sleep. Things need to happen gradually. So a good way to start that process is to get outside around dusk. So around sunset, around dusk, as the light is changing, that light is less of a blue wavelength, more of a red wavelength. And that color itself signals to your body that it's time, it's almost approaching time to be sleeping. So that can be just a really simple way um, to help signal your body when it should be awake, when it should be asleep, is just by getting light on your eyes first thing in the morning, around dusk, and then, of course, as much as you can throughout the day as well. But those two times of day are especially helpful. Um, I'd love to know how you go with that, if that's something you choose to um, include into your day. Once you sort of think consciously about how you might do that and sort of plan it into your day, it becomes a lot simpler and it just becomes part of your normal day. Um, for example, if you're someone that drinks, um, say, coffee in the morning and that's a really lovely um, quiet time for you in the morning, if the sun is already up at the time that you have that little ritual or if it's coming up that can be a really nice time to just step outside whether you have a yard or you have a balcony you have a window anything if you can take those few minutes and really um, consciously absorb that that light that morning light um, that can be a way to bring that into your day as i said um, when you have a break at work making sure to get some light on your eyes during that time um, and then maybe for example um, in the evening spending time with your family maybe you can decide to have a bit of outside time um, get the kids outside 
um, go for a walk with your partner, whatever it may be, and that can be a way to get that light on your eyes in the evening. So have a think about how you might include it. I hope this helps. Of course, there's many other reasons why someone might be struggling with low energy and having poor sleep. So there's lots of other things that can be investigated and can be done, but this is a really foundational thing that um, all humans need um, and respond to. So this can be a really great place to start. All right. I hope you have a wonderful day.